Right, so I don't really have anything more that needs to be done here. I think that's relatively on model. I'll turn off the reference image so that that's no longer in my way. And I now need to decide what to do with this character. So I think, I think I'll just have him look up and perhaps put his hands on his hips, something like that. I don't want to go too far because I'll be here all day. And I know that uh, that's not going to make for a great tutorial video. So on frame 20, the first thing I'm going to do is go into edit mode and just press I and say duplicate the active keyframes. Now all layers doesn't really apply here because there aren't any more layers than the one. So I'm just going to use the active. Now we need the poo exists on frame 20 and on frame 1. I think I'll turn on onion skin just so I can see the changes as they go through. But the first thing I'm going to do, if I want him to look at the... Let's have him look at the ground, actually, because I think that'll just make for a slightly nicer pose. The first thing I'm going to do is select his eyes, nose, ears, head. And just lift them up like they're a, a 3D object. Second thing I'm going to do is put the 3D cursor here and make sure that the pivot point is set to 3D cursor. And I'm just going to try to animate him as much as I can, like he's an object, rather than a drawing. I'll put the um, I'll put the 3D cursor there now. Shift select his body and just lead. Oh, shift select his body and his arms, and just lean him forward like that. Very good. I think I'll also nudge his body down slightly like that with the intention of bending the legs. So let's talk about that. Let's talk about how I might approach bending the legs. So far, my animation is that it's very stiff and rigid. So to animate these legs the natural thing to do is jump into sculpt mode and just squash them into place but uh, there's a couple of other things that you can do in edit mode as well and that is by moving things around with g if you have this tool on here the proportional editing then you'll get a big sphere of influence going on especially if that when you press g you scroll your wheel down like this now at the moment it's centered around my pivot point which is not an accident. If you right click and put your pivot point somewhere advantageous, then you can kind of start to pull the leg into the position that you want it in without using the sculpt tool at all. Now, as you can see, it's affecting everything, which isn't very helpful. But if you come up here and click on connected only, it will only impact the points that are part of the stroke you've selected. So if I click this one, now only points in this stroke object will be impacted by this instead of the whole thing. So my basic philosophy when it comes to animating stuff like this is see how far you can go with sculpt tool and with proportional editing before you start drawing brand new strokes. I think the particular task here requires me to pull the, the knee around around about there. So we'll just say that we'll go to there. And then of course these bits here as well, I think I'll just pull those in a bit like that. And then I can have a look and see how that's going. So I'm holding Alt and middle wheel. I'm holding Alt and scrolling the middle mouse wheel there to go from frame to frame. That looks pretty good. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Now, I think I'll do the other leg a bit more traditionally using the sculpt tool. And I will um, just basically drag that into position in the way that I think it'll look best. And because Winnie the Pooh is made up of all of these simple shapes, there's not that much to do. He's pretty ideal for animating, actually. Yeah, looks pretty good to me. I'll probably move that foot forward. I'm just going to flatten this foot slightly as well, just to give the impression that some weight has gone onto it. Perhaps pull that forward a little bit like that. And just nudge his heel forward a touch. Um, I might also flick back over to this one, nudge that heel forward there. Yeah, nudge it there as well. Perhaps just flatten this toe a bit like that. Pull this out. Yeah, and you can just keep tweaking and tweaking until you think it looks good. That looks good to me. Okay, right, let's talk about this body now. The body and the head. 
I think the whole thing is very stiff. I'm going to try and move the whole thing, the body, the head and the ears and the face all at once and see how far I can get. So I'll just select those one by one. There we are. Oh, it didn't go his ears. And I'm going to scale the brush right up like that. And I'm going to move them around like this to see how far I can get. If I press F, I'll just up that slightly so it's having a bit more of an effect. And it's kind of difficult. It's not really working out so well. I could I could mess about, you know, see what will happen, but he's getting very distorted as we go along. So again, I think I'll try and use my selection trick. See what see where that gets me. So at the moment, all of him is selected. If I come back into edit mode and get the select circle like that, I can hold control and deselect bits. So I think I'll deselect these bits here and probably go to about there. I'll then put the 3D cursor around about there and I'll press R just to rotate them like that. And again, because proportional editing is switched on, I can start to actually get a relatively good beginning. I can actually get a relatively good bend. Nudge that back up there a little bit more. It's just a good way to get started. And you can tweak the sphere of influence to increase that little bend that he's got in his stomach there. Let's just say that that looks quite nice there. You see the fold over? Let's just say there's a little bit of a, a tuck like that. Now obviously he's bent over far too much, but if I just select the whole thing again and rotate him back up, I'm getting somewhere. I think I'll carry on now in sculpt mode. And just try to use some good judgment at this point to pull the character and sculpt the character into uh, a better looking position. I'll probably try and nudge his whole head down in edit mode. I'll deselect this one and let me just look at this. Yeah, so just bring his whole head down a bit more like that. I'll put the 3D cursor there tuck him forward like that. There we go. Yeah, that, that's fine. That's fine. I think in general he'll keel over if he stands like this. So I may need to nudge all of his proportion back so that his weight is being taken by his legs. So I'm going to um, select, I'm going to shift select his body again and his arm and that arm there. And I'm just going to nudge that weight back a little bit like that. So that he's not completely keeling over. When he bends forward, let's just say he'll bend forward like that. That's going to require some tweaking now of the legs to make that look good. So come in here. I'll just select these and pull that back a little bit like that. Yeah, there we go. So he's not going to keel over now. That's good. I think this knee on the front of this one doesn't look great. So I'm going to select it by itself and um, make this slightly smaller and just try to... Yeah, there we go. Maybe just a little bit of tweaking here. You really could just tweak all day when you're messing around with animation like this. All right, let's look at that back because he's got a big hunchback. Let's um, let's just take that in a bit so he's not looking quite so hunchy. I don't think it looks that bad actually him being hunched. But yeah, that's fine. Okay, right, let's look at these ears, because there's movement there to be had. Again, I'll see how far I can get in edit mode, just with a rotational point in the right place. Great. And his eyes really aren't doing much. I just accidentally moved that ear. His eyes really aren't doing very much. Um, I don't know if there's much to do. Perhaps just a little bit of that. What I will do though is bend these arms because they are just sitting there at the moment not doing anything. But just to mix things up a bit, I'm going to draw those rather than using the sculpt tool for everything. Hopefully you get the message which is the sculpt tool will make your life a lot easier.